Hi everyone, it's me Dawn and uh, I got Chuck here on the production side. Production side. The editing and cutting. Um, today we're working on uh, molding <coughs> paste and I did this the other day with some molding paste and actually goes like this way. Oh, you have the side camera? Yeah, so if you have the side camera on, it goes like... No, your right camera's... Oh, okay. I can put it where you want? Yeah, go for it. So it's actually supposed to be this view off of this paper right here. Um, I so I was still kind of struggling, huh? I can't see it? Yeah, just put it on the overhead. Oh, okay, go ahead. So I was still kind of struggling on whether I should put some greenery on here. And I, I did have, I did have some, um, I do have some like ferny greenery stuff and I wanted to like maybe paint some like green here, greenery here too, as well as over here on this one. Um, this side, just randomly, not like the whole thing, but I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we, my husband and I, Chuck and I looked at it and we kind of trying to evaluate whether it, if it improved it or if it didn't. Um, so if you want to give your opinion, that would be greatly appreciated what you think. Um, if I should try some greenery or not, uh, leave a comment below, please, or on our page. So that's the one I worked on, and this is what I'm working on now. Um, if I just fell in love with the picture, and these are black and whites only because my printer prints black and whites, but the color of this image is extremely vibrant. It's really, really gorgeous. The, the greenery is so green. It's, it's called the Kimberleys in Australia. I've never been, um, but this is one place on, a, on my bucket list for sure. So anyway, I just thought that it would be kind of cool to create this uh, as best as I can. I already prepped my wooden canvas and um, use on on this other picture that I did I used the modeling paste uh, lightweight to flexible and it was wonderful to use medium structure and it was awesome to use uh, for this one I want to try Liquitex uh, and this one I'm sorry it was by artist acrylic Windsor and Newton artist acrylic modeling paste and this one I want to try is flexible uh, I'm sorry is Liquitex modeling paste gel medium so I'm just gonna get started uh, so I was looking at this and I was thinking I want to kind of I need to make a little marks here and there because I need to be able to um, like I do want to put, I want to, I want to have the sky, I want to have the water flowing through, I want to have the definition of these mountains, and I want to have the, you know, this definition here too as well. So I want to make sure that um, I lay this out really good. Uh, So I don't, I don't want too much of the sky. I want mostly to be water. I want it mostly to be resin here. So I am going to put the water at the very, very top. I'm just going to make markings. They're not exact. How you doing over there? Good. How you doing? Huh? Good. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. 
I'm just marking this. It's just marking this down a little bit. And I want to try and keep it as accurate as possible. With a little bit of fluctuation. And that might be a little bit too far out because I need to go in a little bit more. Yeah. So we don't want to use this one. <coughs> I can't, can I? No, that doesn't work. All right, so now we have the center. That's supposed to flow there. That's supposed to flow there. Sorry if I'm taking time, but it's work in progress. Yes, I'm just marking up my areas. <clears throat> Sorry about the zoom in, folks. We can kind of see it. So how's everybody's Thursday doing? Uh, okay. Nice, ready Thursday here. Yeah, let's hope this turns out good. And begin. And begin. I've done. Hmm. All right, at least I got that part down. Can you even see what I did? No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of okay, so I just kind of drew. Oh, hold on. You gotta look at that right screen. Oh, sorry. So I just kind of drew out, just kind of like an outline to give me an idea of where I'm putting. Is it's it? Be a little bit. Is it zooming in? Try the top. Try the top. Right screen. There you go. Just give you some reference points. Yeah, just give me some reference points. I mean, there's probably a million better ways to do it, but this help. This is fine with me. Come on. All right, so I'm just gonna shut that down. Okay. Bunch on. I'm not gonna paint this because I really need a colored version of this, of my picture, so because I really want to get it um, as colorful as it really is, and I only have a black and white right now, so this is what I'm gonna use for now. If anyone has any questions out there, feel free to join in. So right now I just like I'm gonna put it down. I I, I made a pattern of kind of like where I wanted this molding paste to go. Oh, we got Nicole in the house saying you're an excellent painter and got hi from Grammy and Grampy. Yay, Nicole Baker, yeah. Emerson Baker, Bindi Baker. Pamela says hello to you too. Jasper, and hello Chris. Says hello. <laughs> Sorry, it takes me a minute. Yes. 
So I'm just trying to fill in these areas for right now, just to make a, just to make this picture, just to do this picture. It sounds like. Do you have like a a recording on it? Or it's on low on the because of the delay. Um, so I know that there's like an area right here. It kind of like goes in, and I want to make sure I like right here. It kind of like goes in. I want to make sure that's. I was thinking too. Once that kind of sets up, you can probably take one of those paint sponge brushes. And kind of knock down those peaks and kind of manipulate a little bit once it starts to set up. Yeah, this one's the medium drill, so I can. Oh, as it fills, looks a little more liquidy. Yeah, it really does for it being a, because the other one was lightweight, but. A little more dense. Yeah. Um, and right now I'm just gonna try and like build it up and then I'll work on beautifying it. The beautification. Nicole says, I like the way you shake. I don't know what that means. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, coco pot. You like that, huh? How's the sound coming over to you guys? Yeah, can you guys hear? Stuff is really, really fun for the grandkids to play with. I think they would love this. Hold your right hand back. How did you shape your rocks when you did the rocks, Charles? All by hand, because you're talking a bigger medium. Yeah. Um, you can also do it, which you probably could do with this too once it sets up. Um, we used to take, you know, you could take a, a trash bag and give it that texture, but you just got to get in a smaller area. Yeah. And I can, uh, I can mold this once it's drying, I can sand it, I can mold it. This is where, in the picture, it's kind of hard to see, but this is where, um, Right here is where the waterfall is supposed to be, so... So what I, I do is I give you a little bit of, just a, a skim layer there. Just a tiny And then I'll take the blade and just push it, push it down. Yeah. Um, once this dries, I'm going to put a little bit more on this because, um, well, not too much, but, but once it dries, I'll be able to make the shapes that, these cutouts that, these lines that I'll be able to define a lot better. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Huh? <coughs> I was trying to catch that, but you did so good. Oh, sorry. But I'm just going to make a little bit of marking right here. saying just do a really thin 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 layer right yeah so what I do is just butter in that area yeah and like then just take your yep stay here yep and you can actually take your blade the other way and just push it down 
Kevin? Yeah. And then I'll create the trough or the What's everybody doing? Is everybody eating dinner yet? We haven't eaten dinner yet, but we're ready. How are my grandkids? I know they're watching right now. How you doing, my precious little ones? This is really, really fun to play with this stuff, to be honest with you. Okay, so this is just another section of these. Because these are all going like this somehow. Like that. And then this is the, gonna be the water. Hopefully that's not too loud. I do as little manipulation with it as possible, so I'm just kind of laying it down, and then I'll mold it and shape it uh, once it's drier, because it'll be easier. But I, I do want to give it some shape so I know, you know, where my markings are. I want to kind of stick to that as much as possible. This area right here is another waterfall. One of the grandkids say, hi, Grammy, I'm watching you on the video. Yay. Which grandkid would that be? Emerson Reese, Fendi Bela Vega. Oh, says love Emerson. Yep. <coughs> I love that you can talk to us while I'm here. So I, in the beginning of the video, I showed you like how I did the my first one, and it came out really, really good. But I'm struggling with whether to put greenery on it or not. So maybe y'all can just tell me or what you think. All right, I can turn it around this way. like a little in the in oh right here it looks like it I don't know if you can see that but like right so there it looks like a tunnel of some sort so I want to make sure I I want to get that tunnel and then I'm gonna put my three little grandkids in the tunnel <laughs> honey is that that no So Charles is going to work, finish working on his, Charles is going to finish working on his um, mold. Uh, are we doing that today though? Uh, no, uh, probably not. We'll that. just do this and then we'll, but I'll, and I'll let, I'll let. So you get my colors together. Yeah, I'll let you all know when he's going to 
and he's going to be doing that. So this is actually at an angle and I want to make sure I kind of like get it at an angle. So I want to put enough on this so I can shave it right, right back off. Harrison says, I like your videos so much. I wish I could do the, can do dirty poor with like you. Like you or with you? Because I know you're, you're talented to do the dirty poor by yourself. Oh yeah, Emerson can totally do a dirty pour. Emerson totally, totally can do a pour. All my grandkids can do a dirty pour. He said, I scribed and scribed and liked your video. Yay! Thanks, Emerson! <laughs> I can hear that after it. I can hear me. So we went to Michael's and this these things were on sale. Um, and no, that's, we were at, uh, was it Michael? No, no, it was Dick Blick. Dick Blick. We went to Dick Blick. <clears throat> the other one was Clarence. Yeah, Clarence, 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 Clarence. And um, Jeez. I'm okay, Charles. Hey now. I'm getting a little carried away over here. You know, I'm on my own. Mad dog. Just trying to make this a little bit bigger because I want it to stand out over here. This has to come in. But like I said, I can mold a lot of this when I'm done, after I'm done. like whipped cream. It does look like whipped cream, doesn't it, though? Anybody got a cake that we can whip this on? You can make a cake like this for, for Finley, <laughs> for Jasper, and for Emerson. We could. They would love a cake of molding paste. They'll never know the difference. No, I don't think so. It's good stuff. Alright, I think that's I used pretty much almost the whole little container here. Yeah, that was large. Yeah, it was. So, but I allowed the I allowed my my waterfall areas. I want the resin to still go through this area, but I want to still have a color behind it. And actually, it's going to have a white on it too, from the waterfall coming through. Okay, so this is the first part and it's all done. Oop, I gotta fix that. This is the part one, uh, the molding paste of my, it's called the Kimberly's and it's in Australia and I took it off the image off the internet and now I'm just trying to, just trying to make it, um, Make it on, on the board. If you do side, can they see in the side? There. And then they can see the, the depth of it too. It's not it's not wicked. It's not really, really, really thick at all. But it kinda there. Is this not oh. TV the illusion? No. I see it. No, just enough to give you the illusion. Oh, I thought you said just no TV. Did I lose yeah, you? Yeah, I lose okay, you. so I'm I'm going deaf. That's what <laughs> you're trying to tell me. Alrighty. So this is it. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm gonna um, make this. Finish making this. The next part I'll do is I'm gonna shake the rocks, 
and after I shape them, if I need to add any more, then I'm going to add color. I'm going to paint them and add color because they're very, very, uh, there's a lot of, lot of, um, different, a lot of, uh, different colors on them. They're really, really pretty. And I think I need to add more over here. I'm going to add a little bit more over here. So that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you'll catch uh, part two of this and you'll see how it turned out. There, that's a little bit better. And I thank you for joining me. If anybody has any questions? Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, thank you to the Baker clan that joined in and helped us. Yeah. And Thanks, thank you guys. so much. This was fun. And like uh, we all said, hope you have a good evening and uh, keep resonant. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.